level one. Today we're going to play uh, our Vanny campaign, the Gallic Tribes, which gain 20% uh, in Gallic Mortalship, means 20% uh, bonus for melee attack for all cavalry, warrior society, plus two public order for every war against a neighboring faction. Okay, this is actually a very nice thing, the warrior society attribute. Uh, Gallic craft craftsmanship, 20% plus uh, for wealth from all industrial buildings and tribal hegemonist hegem uh, no, hegemon hegemonist moderate diplomatic bonds with all barbarian tribes cultural affinity let's start the campaign it is on legendary of course yeah I did just uh, looked at how it starts and we are starting with a uh, gold um, settlement which is which will also give us like bonus for uh, the Mining build, um, mining buildings. So we are getting both the bonus from the mining building from the gold settlement and the fact that they are the Gallic tribe, so they are getting the bonus for industrial buildings. Your old rivals, the Aedui, are forever seeking to thwart you. If they will not join your cause, then you must march upon Bribacte and take it by storm. You may find support from your Pictonese allies, but remember that your enemies also have support. Seek the allegiance of other Gallic tribes and crush all who oppose you. Gaul must be unified. Trade with the Greeks of Massilia will bring you wine and wealth, but maintaining contact with Mediterranean powermongers will inevitably lead to conflict. By two tatties! They will feel the might of a united Gaul. So speak the Averni. Okay, so we should first complete control of two provinces. We are going to get a two and a half thousand reward. Uh, let's start by going to the faction. And I don't know how much. Uh, yeah, we have only one. Okay, one tribe opposing. So it's pretty good. Eight barbarians, minus two loyalty for each barbarian faction in which you have established a diplomatic treaties. Chest for power, minus ten loyalty if the party's influence is lower than yours, which will be obviously. And like the Roman, plus two loyalty for each diplomatic treaty with Roman factions. Okay, um, let's see what else can we do. I think not so much to begin with. Maybe we can hire a politician, but I don't. I prefer to save the money. Okay, so second objective did we know, trade and finance. Um, okay, let's keep it. Let's keep the taxes as they are. Technology, I noticed that we can get like a very nice uh, chosen swordsman in our garrison if we get the bronze forge. So I think that this is the best thing to go at at first for the bronze forge, which will include. Um, Two turns investing in, in supply foraging, and then uh, three turns in best saddle, and then and hunt. Uh, the civil, I'm not sure if I actually want that with them at the moment. We will like in the future, but I think we can wait with it for a bit. The gross one is the gross bonus is actually pretty good. Um, okay, so let's start with the building. We want the better um, settlement, but like the vid, the trench mine would give us more. Well, for mining in all regions, um, but I actually also want like the artisan lodging is already bringing us some uh, money and a garrison, but not really a big one. I am considering like to get the bronze workshop. Like after that, we will have the bronze forge. Will will give us like a better garrison. Let's wait. Uh, I think we, yeah, we definitely need some food at the beginning. It's like a must. I don't think we have like a cultural pro problems. Yeah, 100% uh, Celtic culture, so we don't need the, like a cultural building at the moment. Um, the all, yeah, this only unlock recruitment of Celtic warriors, and we do need some spearmen. So we should go, I think, for the bronze workshop already. Um, it gives us public order, the homemaker. Mm. 
Okay, you know what? Let's in this settlement we shouldn't go for the bronze workshop and the bronze uh, forge because I do think we need more like money and pub public order to begin with, I guess. Especially in this settlement, we will have like a, an issue with the public order. Okay, so let's go for that. Let's check. Thirsty for battle, for ready for order, getting on our way. Yeah, on okay, move, our lads. ready for battle. army to begin with is not that strong. Let's check our diplomatic relationships. We have a war with the Ardui. Canutes. Greetings to you. Let's I check. trust you we'll come with honorable. Pack. Not really. Masila. I am honored to receive yeah, you. Trade agreement. As he said in the My people will find much beginning. joy. Namen I look forward to your wisdom. Non aggression pact. All right. Okay. I will take we'll word of our agreement. And no. The gods would be displeased. Okay. Risky. Risky. I welcome you, worthy no speaker. No. I listen because your people are known Shall to have agreement? honor. No. Okay, well maybe we'll, we will uh, declare war on them. Let's start with the uh, I do it. <laughs> Uh, even though maybe I do, we should just uh, sack them and not really conquer it because we will not be able to get the full province and it should be difficult. Um, Honor the gods and your ancestors. Yeah, let's get him to ambush. Yeah, it costs 50% of the mo of the force movement range. Yeah, we can't really do that. In this turn, this let's get the spy to steal their food. The shadows are friends. Ready for battle. Let's get us some more units. Celtic warriors. Death in battle. There is no finer ending. Yeah, we don't have so much money. Let's wait with the hole maker for Ready now. For orders. I think we should definitely need more of those. Uh, should we get the Celtic Slingers I think they should be like useful but let's get the Celtic Warriors to the start and get and our king ah the he's the king is to be truly free. no maybe I prefer Ready him to have all of the forces Starting out. to travel is to be truly free. Yeah, and get the general back. Yeah, I think that the king gets a discount. I'm not sure in, if in Rome too, but uh, in another Total War game he gets like a upkeep reduction. Let's check one second. Yeah, this is our king. No, I don't see any. Ah, yeah, here. Yeah, the king minus 10% upkeep for all land units and 10% morale, free influence per turn for your political party, and four gravitates per turn. Yeah, so we should recruit some um, men with him, and we will see later on what we should do. Uh, I don't know if we should conquer it or just. Um... Yeah, they are starving good, because of our spy. I don't know if we should conquer it or just sack it. Usually I don't like sacking so much, but I think we actually need Ready the money. Let's check one second. Yeah, so the other tribes... No, we are no, not in a good relationship with Arnutz, but we are with a good in a good relationship with Amenetes. Yeah, we have no... Uh, Yeah, we have no agreement with them, so maybe to conquer it, it's, it is the better choice. Thirsty for battle. What we can do? Ready for orders. Let's check the garrison. Eight men. Chosen swordmen, Celtic tribesmen, Celtic warriors, Celtic skirmishers, and Celtic slingers. Ready for battle. What we can do? We can we can siege them. So eight more in here. And 18 there, so 16 units. We have 15, but we have superior strategy, obviously. Uh, this is the queen. Some light horse, slingers, Celtic youth. Do we have any cavalry? Warriors all. 
against the Celtic Cutes. No, we don't. Can we get some? No, we can't. Um, so Celtic Slingers, Skirmishers, Warriors, Tribesmen, and Swordsmen. Yeah, the Swordsmen scares me a bit, but not so much. For the tribe. Um, let's ambush, like we said. Get moving. Before. And raid them. It's going to cost us uh, minus 20% upkeep for all end units. It's actually nice. Minus 10 public order from raiding, minus 5% growth from raiding, incur diplomatic pen penalties with raided, and minor, minor, minus 100% wealth from all resources, local region. Uh, so it will reduce the upkeep for all of our units. Burn it down. Like 200 per turn. So let's raid them for now. I live to serve the people of Until Gaul. we will get some more Celtic warriors and they will starve in the meantime. Yeah, we cannot get the horn maker yet. Just we're just getting some food done. Go for it. Even the 200 we are saving per turn is pretty nice, I guess. Even though I really like the ambushes. Okay, the saddle is done. Advanced saddle. Efficient rank scout. That's good. We want him to steal some more food. Especially in the beginning of the campaign. Ah, uh, yeah, you can see they'll keep on uh, recruiting units. So we just recruited seven units? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's just the same. It says it said 15. It says 15 for some reason. Yeah, before it also said like more than what it was actually ready for battle okay let's ready get our king orders. siege them we already assaulted but they don't want uh, let's get some more letters let them cower before and get thirsty for battle the rest of the army when your feet bleed, you can moan. I live to serve the people of Gaul. Starting out. Yeah, we can actually transfer all of the swordsmen. Gauls love the I wonder now. Uh, no! Well, we well, yeah, now we're actually kind of crushing them. I'm not sure if I want to wait. Not great siege. No. Let's continue the siege. I hope they will come come out for for us. Hopefully. Let's go get go the horn maker. Let's get the horn maker in the meantime. And we should get. Yeah, this will give us some more extra garrison of light force. I would want to have as many garrison as I can. Because we will probably venture south. Or in general, I just prefer to have a lot of uh, garrison everywhere. Especially, especially at the beginning of the campaign. We can just be attacked from like every, everywhere. I really hope they will go out to meet us, but I don't think this is the case. Are ye honest warriors who will come to a brother's aid? Will you send your spears again? No. We will do it in the future, probably, because we do want this province. This entire province. Yeah, so we took some attrition as well. Attack! Not a serious one, but uh, they got much more attrition from this whole thing. I think we can just uh, overwhelm them now. Tyrannus, strike them down. Yeah, I would, I would uh, fight it just for fun, but we can we can basically, obviously, auto resolve it. Dry. I think I would prefer the rain. So they will not, not be able to burn our letters. Oh. Also good. Yeah, so the castle is over there. The gates. I think we should just uh, go get everyone to come from over here 
And I would rather to have less spearmen and more swordmen. Yeah. Um. Like we do have more units as they do, but I don't want to get like a one ladder in in the front, as then we can get it like burned. When we get all of them together, it's easier. We can split our force into two. Get half of our force coming from here. Or maybe all of the force actually coming from here because it seems like easier because there are less towers or we can actually wait yeah we can actually bring half of our force from this front and half of our force from the other front i think it should be it should be easier I think. where is the reinforcements coming from yeah, we can't know. Not yet. Um. This is the victory point. Okay, so let's get half of our force in here and half of our force on the other side. Uh, let's get our king in the other front. Leave him there. Proved and waiting! Warriors! Group! Warriors! Battle group! Yeah. Warriors! Ready! Yeah, I think I would rather have... Yeah, like, uh, it's easier to play like that. It's, they are all uh, in Warriors the same uh, front. You know what? Let's get the, the king in here. Well. Sons of gold! Yeah, so Battle group awaiting your word. Yeah, let's get him. Battle group ready. Okay, so we are good to go. Let's start. For the gods. Now is the day to make your mark, men. Pick. Yeah, so you just divided those slingers. Skirmisher, slingers, and youths. Okay. Well, let's assault both sides. Ah, yeah. The general is coming in second front, which is more comfortable because our king is not in here. Infantry. Levy free men. Let's get some levies. Let's shoot those slingers. Oh, you. Let's shoot the use. Missile armed warriors. Our Celtic youth should come and throw their javelins as well. Let's check what is our other general. Yeah, okay, it will actually take some time, I think, to get here. Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, he should come from this side of the lake. Um.
Okay, we're up. Get our general in here. And... Out with this Firmina. Warriors! Javelins at them. Ready oh, we already saw our javelins. Okay, so let's just engage. Oh, we didn't. Okay. Greatly. Missile warriors! Let's get all of our missile in. Out. Warriors! Yeah, the units to go me. to the victory point now. Run! Okay, Are you ready? Get ready! Okay, the ready. Is fine by me. Warriors. Yeah, the general is get. lagging behind. Ready. Okay, let's Are capture the, the gate. We do want to get to the victory point. Warriors. So let's finish them off already. Those are chosen soldiers. That's why they are so tough. Slingers. Let's get the slingers to shoot them in the back. Warriors. Enemy Freeman. Ah. Warriors. Ready. You have our spears. Stay behind. Both sworn warriors. Let's get everyone to Ready. chase them. Let the slingers shoot them. Keep on going to the victory point. Warriors! Get running! Who are you? Hey, this is the general. Let's see if we can handle a barrage. We are gold! How to see this way? So 
can't believe they don't want to throw the javelin. Throw it! Just a second. Now throw it. Yeah. Seems like he's going to break anyway. Okay, so decisive victory. We lost 638 men, which is normal. This kind of a battle. I want to keep the other general because his unit is extremely strong at those at this part of the game. This part of the game. So we can use him like uh, as a backup. Now get some more armies and fleets. Well, Imperium. Faction destroyed. Gaul is murder to How us can all. We assist you? Yeah, let's get the spy too. There is more. Could do. Can we do seven to seven no. Um le yeah, let's try and get the spy to Honor the gods and your ancestors. again. Yeah, so I see now we can't get any more of those Celtics, Celtic warriors. We have like mainly three men, which in this part of the game, Celtic warriors are the most effective unit. Ready for so we should get the general to recruit some more. How much? How many do we need? Only two more. Yeah, actually the Celtic youth, we can get rid of one of them and get three of those um, Celtic warriors. It, as it is, as I said, very important this part of the game because everyone, just about everyone, has spearmen. Let's go for horse fans. So we'll have like full light force to um, defend. We can get the heavy horse if we upgrade it to stables, which we will in the future, but not now. But for now, it gives us like the food that we need to survive, which is an uh, incredibly part, incredibly important part of this game. This provides us with a garrison of slingers. And some money for manufacturing. Yeah, this is for ballista and stuff. Hmm. Some of them give us more wells. We can go for the clay pit. Or maybe the brine distiller. Um, I need to think it through a bit. Yeah, the village will bring us some more money. That's for sure. Okay, let's just, uh, you know what, let's check one second on something. The craftsman's house can just reduce our public order. And the horn maker actually increases it, so I do prefer, I would prefer to have the horn, horn maker. When I have two Celtic warriors as well. But I would really prefer to get rid of it for now. And we will build something else instead. Um, let's check if diplomacy is changed because we conquered like a new territory and it, and it did. Good and noble friend. What an maybe. honor you do us. Come speak so that the spirits can hear your okay. words. Let's go for non aggression and maybe yes. some trade. Your word. Trade. Nope. Trade is more what I really care about. As it increases our income. 
No, I meant. No. You honor okay. us. No. Face food. Okay. We have need of talk, I'm sure. But we also. Oh, we cannot trade with them. So they don't want. They don't want. Okay, they don't want for now anyway. Um. Yeah. Let's just keep on pushing forward. Unassigned skill. Thirsty for battle. Yeah, this is for the general or the army? Yeah, the general. Uh, I think that the campaign movement range is very important. Uh, obviously, the replenishment rate. No, I'm looking for the upkeep reduction. Is very, it, it is a very important thing. This is for mercenary units. Upkeep reduction for mercenary units, but I don't really like to use because they are extremely expensive. Um, The logistics give us give us replenishment and armor, which is also kind of nice. Okay, so maybe it's just with the Romans that you get the reduction in uh, mercenary uh, for non-mercenary units, reduction in the upkeep. Uh, this gives us a melee attack for all units and shot per minute for all units and charge bonus. I might actually consider go for the soldier even though I really like the campaign movement range but I think we can get the campaign movement range um, with the army maybe it's better this gives us 24 um, okay let's go for the campaign movement range as I like to do usually and we should go maybe also for the soldier. Yeah, I want to check if I missed something. Seems that not. Seems that it's like uh, into the breach. Okay, let's go for the campaign movement range and we will see later on what what we will do in the future. Let's uh, end the turn. I'm a bit worried about the public order in here. Maybe we should go and take those settlements as well in the future. We will wait and see about that. Let's expand some more and then we will see what what is the direction we'll, we, uh, we should take. Okay, peace negotiator. Yeah, we need to capture any settlement. Okay, that shouldn't be so tough for us. Honor the gods and your yeah, let's get the extra the units. Bad. In here. Um, Warriors all. Okay, cultural wise we're good, so I prefer not to get the cultural building. But that gives us I, I want the research but I think now it's not a good timing yet we should uh, invest more in the public order uh, I think the artisan lodging and yeah I'm not sure if we will get the swordsman or the or the horn maker but we should definitely get it for the Celtic warriors I think I think we have enough food for now. Yeah, first, I think going for the yeah, I would like to have the heavy horse, but it will reduce our public order quite a bit. And uh, yeah, Grove of Rosmelta would give us a lot of public orders, so maybe we should go for the for the cultural building anyway, because we really need the public order. That's the wall. Wall old hall, hall also gives us public order and some more money as well. But 
to acquire quite a bit of food which is not so true about the grave of, of Merta Okay, let's go for Grove of Osmerta because we really need the public order now. I guess. But no garrison. Okay. Finished. Uh, okay, no. We should go for... Honor the gods and your ancestors. For that. Uh, yeah, it would take us some time to get over here. Let's try and stop them. See if it will work out out for us and yeah ending the turn now is a good time good timing i mean okay Glory, so there are some money for non and a place pack. in the histories all of these will be ours yeah. when we i don't think we want to declare war in too many fronts We might even uh, think about uh, stabbing our allies in the back soon. Our ident eight goes research complete. Okay, so now we are researching the the bronze forge. Okay, I don't know where. They are. They just. There was just an army here. Let's see where is it. Let's check with our spy. Go over here. Golds yeah. Love the open so here is. I would prefer to go and. Uh, no, I think now we should get some food from them. And I would really want to know what's happening. What will happen with this army? We should get our army closer. So we should be able to. To just surprise attack them even though i do want some replen more replenishment done so let's wa let let's wait a bit see what's going on with this army and then we should decide if uh sally fall thirsty for forward or not yeah our public order is really not in a good shape reduces our tax and our uh growth as well yeah we need to see what to do about that Okay, let's end the turn. Oh, they disappeared. So probably they went over to the enemies. I think they are starving. Gold freely given and great. I'm not in the mood to give out the spirits have noticed that no, I would you. We might just they'll warn them in the future. I think they're starving. I live to serve the people of God. Ah yeah, because of him. I am the knight. Okay, let's just go for the kill. Take the settlement. Finish them out. Let's get the grove of wood melter. Yeah, I would want to upgrade the settlement as fast as we can as well. They have nine units. No, not nine. They have seven. For some reason, it says nine. And they have six destroyed, kind of destroyed units in here. So let's keep our. Like, keep starving them while we will engage them in battle the next turn. And we are going to take the other settlement of this province. May Athena and your ancestors give you one. Whoever demands money from me, it's like at, at this point of the game is really not. I don't like to give out money so fast. This negotiated. Okay. I live to serve the people of God. Yeah, so now they actually have nine units. Ready for battle. Okay, let's get you closer. Get on our way get for the you. Finish them. Declare war. Yes. Okay, so this is an auto resolve. Remaining force eighty two percent. Which means that we will have like uh, twenty percent.
percent out of 3,000 in 200. So it's divided by five. It's like 600 men dead. I don't think it's, it's a good result. 600 in this kind of a battle. I would actually go and fight it because I don't really want to lose all of those all of those men. We don't really. They don't really have walls, so I'm really not uh, not see the the reason for that. And we, we've, we will probably need the, all of those men that we are. Of gold! That we should have lost if we like uh, went for it. Why is it so big? Yeah, so. Um, yeah, I don't think we would uh, have lost so many men. And we are going to def desperately need them. Because we have like uh, another settlement we want to capture later on. And our lovely king in the back. Why is it so big? Okay. Get all of the army at least forward in front. I do want to like annoy them with those slingers so they will come out for us. I don't see like they have skirmishers. I don't think it's like a. They're so effective against Watch our slingers, army, like uh, range wise. Okay. So I can already see like uh, the horsemen coming to us. Yeah, probably the skirmishers are very badly armored. You can see some shields over here, but I don't think it's a selfie. Yeah, they have shields. I don't know how good are they, but they have them. They have those. I don't think he did so much. see any cavalry in here so we should just be very careful about the cavalry in the back let's move our forces really fast yes skirmishers They are getting uh, some javelins from dead them. Oh, this is going too slow.
shouldn't worry about the cavalry for now. Uh, even though I do want some of the levels to be around soon. Yeah, you can see that the Gallic Light Force is still there. Is it? Lost the group of men. Let's get them out of there. have like What's going on with their cavalry? So every, everything now, all of the forces Lakers. are now in here. Let's get Run our missile troops in here. Okay, this unit is I want to take out them in sides. They're just annoying. Are 
start getting rid of those skirmishers. Scrappers, ready! So we can actually catch them. Good, okay. Next. Let's get those ones. Done. Okay, next. unit and then I think that the general is kind of breaking away. Seems like he's very bad. Morale is really low already. I want to do it. Be careful on our team. I want to lose him. Yeah, it seems like he really wants to fight. Yeah, this end of it. Yeah, it's almost done. So let's just charge. him for some experience and we're good with a battle we have actually lost 700 <laughs> okay so i didn't save anything uh yeah i need to remember that those forces are quite uh, are not so good so we lose 700 i, I was the auto resolve gave us 600 so <laughs> i made it worse Okay, tap it. Push him. Yeah, let's occupy. Okay, so I think this is it for this video. I hope you liked it. Yeah, we got a reward for um, capturing a settlement, right? Yeah, capture a settlement. We got 1,250. We have uh, now this new... new. Um, oh, they have an army. Okay, so now they have this new... Um, we have this new uh, settlement. We have like two Celtic warriors in here. Maybe we should get the bronze workshop. But all of that in the next time. So I hope you like you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.